Many people nowadays associate Russia with the modernity of the Moscow skyscrapers or the fancy offices of St. Petersburg. But fortunately, there are many other smaller cities and towns in Russia where you can experience life as it was back in the times of the Soviet Union. So while I was planning a new trip to the very north of Russia, I decided to start off by train and stop by in the city of Kirov. So join me on a train journey that is going to take us back in time to the Soviet Union. Guys, look at where this train is going to. Vladivostok! I'm jumping on a train from Moscow to Vladivostok. Wow, this is just the quintessential Trans-Siberian train crossing all the way. Russia, all the way from Moscow to Vladivostok on the Pacific Ocean. It's just a shame that I will be getting off this train just 12 hours into the journey, really. I bought four class for this trip. Guys, hello from the bathroom. Look at it. Ha, this is by far the most Soviet train I've ever been on. But I mean, if we are pretending that we are taking a train back to the USSR, it's only right that we do it on a train from the USSR. Alright guys, good morning from somewhere around Kirov. Давай путешествуй, набирайся. До свидания. Вот так выйдешь, вот сюда повернешь, по лесенкам по улице, направо пройдешь, и все по улице до кольца и увидишь кольцо. Хорошо. A small step for a human, a huge step for our Soviet adventure. Hello, Kirov. We made it after 12 hours on this train right here. What do you guys reckon? Oh man, look at that, Kirov. Wow, check out this amazingly Soviet railway station. Everything here, you see the waiting room, you see a ticket counter over there and let's take a look at the Raspisania, the schedule look at that this is the timetable for the suburban trains of course in every russian train station there's a difference between suburban trains and just normal trains the one the long distance ones that go all the way to moscow and vladivostok for example like the train that i was on last night and everything here is exactly as it was back 30, 40 years ago at the times of the Soviet Union. So um, I met this Russian family on the train and they told me that I should come and check out a true Soviet Stalovia, a true Soviet canteen with them. So, <laughs> so yeah, let's continue and let's go and eat something. Let's go and get some food. Я люблю еду из столовой. Что рекомендуешь? Блины. Блины? Блины больше. Хорошо, давай. Now, in case you didn't know, Russia has a huge problem with dill. In the sense that they put it every fucking where. Не, не, не. Укроп. Я не навижу укропа. Пожалуйста. Не надо укроп. I freaking hate dill. I can't stand having dill on my food like at all. And it's everywhere in Russia. And it probably used to be everywhere at the times of the Soviet Union as well. But I just can't stand it. So let's try some Soviet borscht. <laughs> 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 <
All right, guys, I follow the recommendations from Yulia, <laughs> and here's what I got for me. I've got a nice borscht, a nice soup, really uh, typical Russian. Aeta kushali bavremia SSSR, It's true, pure Soviet borscht. How cool is that? And I also got myself some blinchiki, blin some mm. blinne, which are basically pancakes. That's what they are, with some condensed milk and this piece of bread and all of this for my breakfast for around 200 rubles I which is just less than two pounds really so really convenient and uh yeah guys priyatna va petita politica e ta posta fatta mosta esta media da gazete televizienia e ani daje esli e ta ni politica e daje esli ni политики им говорят плохо говорят о России. одно, а на самом деле другое. Да, но почему? Но почему? Потому что новости, которые продают, которые деньги, это когда говорят плохо о России, потому что знают, что людей хотят читать об этом. Я же, я думаю, что в России тоже наоборот говорят плохо о Европе. Но россияне, все российские туда сюда, у них есть такая тенденция, пока не увидишь, сам вот не увидишь. По ушам можно что угодно наговорить и то и сюда. Но пока ты сам себя не увидишь, это то и сюда. А мне всегда интересно, как лучше вам был, как во время СССР? СССР. Да? Да. Припочитали. Спасибо. До свидания. Okay, so now we're leaving half of the family here because they're going to look for an apartment to stay here in Kirov, whereas Yulia, the daughter, is going to take me out for an excursion in and around Kirov. How cool is that? How cool is that? Mm? How cool is that? It's not just that Kirov один из самых лучших городов, где жить в России. Да, для жизни. Он попал в этот рейтинг. Wow. I've just been told that apparently Kirov is one of the best cities to live in in the whole of Russia. Wow. Let's go and find out why, shall we? Вот этого торгового центра он был, но его модернизировали. Он теперь уж такой красивый стал, а был белый. Ага. А где все советские здания? Я хочу советские здания. Вот советское здание. Вот советское. There goes there goes our first Soviet building. Look at it. А это можно называть это Крушовка или или нет? Нет. Нет. У Крушовки пятый этаж. Я тебе покажу. Да, да. Ну вот, наверное, вот тут. Нет, тоже не совсем. Ага. Let's go and look for proper Soviet buildings here in town. Ну это советское здание. Ага. Вот. Wow, guys, look at this. Right on Nikrasova ulica, which means non-beautiful street, ugly street. Look at this. А почему это мозаик? There is some sort of mosaic right here. А мозаика, да. Да. Ну потому что не знаю, бывает так выкладывают. Мы это сделали, но видишь мозаик тут выкладывают. Видите, видите, что это? Эксклюзивный, эксклюзивный. Видите, что это? Что что продают? Что это продают? Видите. Видите, да, авто, да. Это на авто на разборку. Look at that. This is your typical. Вот грязь типичная дворовая русская грязь. This is your typical street in the residential areas of Kirov. А значит, детей, дети, когда в возрасте школе после домашнего задания они приедут сюда и играют. Может, да? Ну здесь просто нет площадки, вот детки играют. Как могут разыграть? Сколько может стоить квартиру, например, квартиру? аренда? Если я хочу, не знаю, студию или два а комнаты или квартиру? Десяти тысяч. Десяти тысяч. Хандрид паундс. Если вы, ребята, хотите уехать в Киров, понял, в Крушовке. Mm -hmm. ага. А если я хочу в центре, в хорошем ну, квартире? Деньги будут от двадцати тысяч. Понял. Окей, okay, окей. Okay. Uh, Юлия uh, has just made me aware of an abandoned a uh, hospital that you can find here in the center of Kirov. And just don't get me wrong, it's not like the whole town of Kirov is like this. But these are just the parts that date back to the days of the Soviet Union. And of course, most of them can be abandoned and that's why they look like this. But of course, the town of Kirov 
is much more than that. А тебе надо водить меня, где лучшие места Кирова. Я не могу только показать это. И даже люди думают, конечно, думают конечно. что Киров это все плохо, но это не все плохо. Да, Я да, уверен да. об этом. The abandoned Soviet buildings of Kirov. Wow, just imagine how many babushkas and dedushkas were being treated here at the times of the Soviet Union. You see the corridor. Man, almost. Almost looks like that building. Oh, ты смотрела на Netflix? Как называлась сериал Пандемия? Помнишь? Нет, не, не, не помню. Это советский цирк. Он был здесь уже 40 да, лет да, назад. Да, wow. Такой, wow. And next to it, look, a Soviet Ferris wheel. Wow. I'm really tempted. А ты боишься, да? Высоты? Высоты, да, не хочешь? Yeah, yeah, I'm хочу. really tempted yeah. to go and try this Soviet Ferris wheel. Получается 150 рублей. 150 рублей? Да. Давай, пойдем. Здравствуйте, можно два билета, пожалуйста? Спасибо большое. Уху, мы идем на Soviet Ferris wheel. <laughs> ты готова? Да, ты меня как можешь успокаивать. <laughs> Можно, да? Wow, this doesn't look so bad at all. I'm almost disappointed. But yeah, let's go and check out the view over Kirov. Вот, ну, смотришь, да. да. Все, я закрываю глаза. <laughs> да, закрываю. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Yulia is really scared right now. And yeah, in the meanwhile, we can check out the view over Kirov. Look at that Soviet building. Look at that modern building. That's not Soviet. Look at that Soviet boss. Probably brought in and imported secondhand from Germany. Wow, I'm getting excited. All right, guys, we're at the very top. And Yulia has been, has finally conquered her fear of heights. Russian girl преодолевает свой самый страшный страх. If you're interested, by the way, I think this ride for the, а сколько стоит? 200, 200 рублей. 200 рублей, да. So the ride on a Soviet Ferris wheel comes to around two pounds, which compared to the 30 pounds that you need to spend for the London Eye in England, I mean, it makes you think, doesn't it? As nice as London Eye. London Eye? London Eye, it's like this. It's like... Тоже там колесо обозрения, да? Да, три тысячи, три тысячи билетов, да, фигеет. Спасибо, спасибо большое, спасибо. Let's go! Woo! We conquered our fear of heights, and oh my god, this town is insane. There's a freaking camel over there. What the hell is a freaking camel doing in Soviet Russia? Здравствуйте, можем его погладить, просто погладить? Он не укусит? Он не укусит? Если руку по локоть в рот не засунете, не укусит. Откуда он? Казахстанская. Oh, a freaking camel from Kazakhstan! Wow, it's insane! The pop, pop, you see, right? Checking out the booty. It's a girl, right? It's a Manya. Manya? It's a Manya. Her name is Manya. And in Russia, no such things. In Russia, no such things. <laughs> Beautiful, красивые, красивые, очень красивые. Красивая. Спасибо, до свидания. I just asked Yulia if she could take me on a true Soviet bus journey. I just want to jump on a bus. I just want to see what it's like here, back in the Soviet Union, here in Kirov. So, let's jump on a bus and let's go somewhere. Wow, check out this bus stop this glass bus stop wow look at this you have a nice skamienka a nice bench you can sit on you have loads of advertising right here you can sell whatever you want basically Kuplufso this guy is buying everything here you have his phone number and yeah like you would just do back 40 years ago you just you used to sit on on the bench right here and just Wait for your bus, like this. This is a proper Soviet bus. 
Soviet trolley bus, but unfortunately, it's not ours. Look at that, guys. CCCP, USSR. With the symbol of the USSR. Wow, the hammer and sickle. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it's right there. Oh, and the ladder. How cool. There goes our bus. You see, that's how you do it back in the Soviet Union. You don't go and pay your ticket yourself, but you have the Spasiva Balshoe. You have the controller coming to you asking for your money, basically. This is absolutely the worst weather ever you could find for a trip back in time to the USSR. Man, it keeps spitting down with rain. We just found some shelter under this thing right here. And we were just taking a look at this. You see, there's a Dietzka Plashatka where the kids play, the kids who live in, in, in these buildings, in these residential buildings. You see the state of these, you see the walls, you see just bricks, which you can see just like this. Well guys, the weather is still pretty much shit. <laughs> so what I did was I took uh, Yulia back home. I was on the taxi with her, so I took her back to her family. I said goodbye to her and the family. And now it's time for me to jump on a proper Soviet ride. Look at this, a marshrutka, so a minibus, which is going to take me farther north. I mean, it was a nice day here in Kirov. I actually liked the city, although the weather was crap. But yeah, definitely was good for a trip back in time, back to the Soviet Union. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, guys, what can I say? I'm here in front of the railway station, waiting to leave Kirov to another place which you are going to find out about in the next video. So, thank you very much for sticking with me until the very end, and I'll see you next time. Cheers! Thank you! Bye!